What's up everybody, it's Rick and welcome to Space Based Startopia, a new management simulator brought to us by Calypso Games. Thank you Calypso for hooking me up with a copy of this so I can show it off to you guys. This game, right up my alley. Uh, it is kind of like a hotel management simulator if that hotel were set on a space station with all sorts of amazing alien life forms that have come to you for entertainment in a good time. Uh, I've played the tutorial of this, so I have a basic understanding of the game, but I'm looking forward to getting a single player campaign started with you. Before I get into the single player though, it is worth noting, and I'm surprised I didn't realize until I booted the game up, that this does have multiplayer, and I'm, I'm curious to find out how that works with this game, because obviously Stumped, we focus on multiplayer stuff, and I would love to play this with the rest of the Stump crew. If, uh, you know, it seems like this is something that's up our alley. So, um, if you guys would like to see us play this together, let me know down in the comments below. But, with that being said, let's get a, car uh, a campaign started here. And we've got, I think these are the difficulties here. Cadet, Commander, and Admiral. I'm going to start with Cadet difficulty, just to keep it simple for us. Because this is a new game, and there's going to be new stuff. No sense making it difficult. It all began with a misunderstanding. When the Telgorian fleet first encountered a representative of the Neophytic Alliance, they sent a bouquet of their most beautiful native flowers as oh, their that's usual sweet. greeting. Oh, the but only the spores, the, the spores. Nature -loving dryads took a bouquet of dead flowers as a declaration of war. Oh, no. This encounter marked the beginning of the first major interspecies conflict in the Alma Barrett Quadrant. It lasted for approximately 400 years. <laughs> Since most of the races did not have access to FTL technology at that time and their weapons technology can generally be regarded as primitive, the armed conflict was often limited to threats, verbal attacks, and illegal littering. <laughs> and illegal littering. I'm gonna leave garbage in your planet. The and you're gonna deal with the it. Universal Translator developed by the RFS Consortium helped to settle the conflict and led to peace talks being initiated. Also, additional potential grounds for conflict. Oh no, they're growing up a whale! And barbecue. Yeah, that whale guy does not seem to be too happy about this barbecue. Loudspeakers and other trivialities to also be nicked in the bud. So much for history, recruit. Let's get back to your real job here at the RFS Consortium's Tier okay. Lab. This lab is not only designed to house a highly sophisticated artificial intelligence called Val. Which Val, would be me, in okay. Case you've forgotten that in the last few minutes, as my brain scan suggests, but is also responsible for the Startopia. No project. affiliation with HAL in 2001: the Space goal Odyssey. Of Startopia is to different artificial space intelligence bases capable of being used by all alien species as places of encounter and exchange. And of course, to earn a huge amount of energy to cover the Ah, uh, see, we are the space the base board. that's going to bring all of these warring the alien factions together. To in the Startopia base teach them how to have a good time. For short, to acquire the knowledge necessary to run such a Startopia base. But before you can do so, you must go through the RFS Executive Motivation Training Course. Oh. You can do it. You're a born leader. We believe in you. Executive Fanfare's Motivation Course. Yeah, fanfare! All right, I like it. They're celebrating my arrival. The final exam They're excited that I'm going to take this exam. Luck, I'm excited, too. Let's Welcome check to it out. First test scenario, Command R. Garbage I'm Empire. Okay. To see how you will cope. This simulation includes a Startopia base orbiting the garbage planet Sarkar. Okay, a, we're starting on a garbage planet. Base, no big deal. All right, you, you know what, from small beginnings, hole. okay? The goal of this scenario is to generate energy by recycling garbage. Okay, we can there do are that. All right, we're bettering the world. Limited. All right. You will mainly, or more precisely, exclusively, come into contact with Telgor and Bugs. Expect visitors to leave a lot of garbage lying around. Okay. I don't think Bunch I need to go bugs. into any more detail. According to the scenario guidelines, it is impossible to fail. However, I would like to add that carbon-based life forms have always surprised me in this respect. <laughs> Very well, Commander, you may proceed. As an old Gononian folk saying goes, every being is the wash quantang of their own fortune. <laughs> is the wash quantang of their own fortune. In which bricks are formed from one's own excrement. Okay, amazing. 
inspirational words Initiate if I've ever heard protocol. them. Welcome, Commander. I am confident that even a carbon-based life form will be able to cope with the very manageable parameters of the scenario. After all, it's all about collecting garbage. A fuzzy okay. with only limited functionality previously solved this scenario in less than 20 minutes. So these are the fuzzies, by the way, you will be able to of which she speaks. They're little helper bots. Test subject evaluation started. Okay, so what do we got to do? R, commence operations. Earn energy through recycler. Okay, so we've got to earn 4,000 energy. Energy is our currency and also what's going to run our ship. And uh, I do know that we're going to go up here. We're going to build a recyclery because I can't gain any energy from a recyclery unless I have a recyclery. So let's go ahead and build that. So I've placed this down. And now you can see the blueprint for it. And we've got all these little fuzzies, as I mentioned. There are little helper bots. They're going to build and do things for us as we go through this. And they're going to get to work building this. Uh, in all of the tutorial stages Excellent, that I played, Commander. You've managed to build I couldn't a find a way to station. speed up time Remember or slow down time. So I think I everything in this game beginning? will happen in wow, real time. It had already completed all of the other test scenarios in the time you needed. But I think it's a rather tough comparison, because it was limited in functionality and you, oh. In order to successfully complete this test scenario, it is uh -huh. not necessary to fully utilize the recycler's functionality. I trust you will have no problem with that, Commander. A quick glance at your social media accounts shows that you're an expert wow, on this, trash. This Val is a master of the burns. Um, so this recyclery, I do know also, you can see that this little icon there, it's a little alien head icon. It's saying that you need some aliens to run this thing. So I believe that it's the Telgor that run these. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to recruit ourselves a Telgor. And uh, I think I might need three Telgor to run this. I'm going to hire uh, Desut. Edul and Ghost Jet, which is an amazing name, Ghost Jet. Okay, so we're going to hire those three right now. Uh, worth mentioning, though, that uh, Nif Nif Deg is there, too. I should have hired Nif Nif Deg. I'll be real with you guys. And it's also got, it says, open this bulkhead. Well, actually, I'm going to go here. Um, so there are two more spots for a couple of these guys. And uh, there's this icon there. I I'm trying to figure out what that icon means. Does it mean I need a robot or something? Do I need to hire, maybe, you know what? I think I need to hire a trash bot, actually. I think that might be what it's saying. So I'm going to go ahead and hire myself a trash bot. I think that we need a trash bot to be able to pick up the garbage and then send it to the recycler. So I'm going to put a trash bot there. Because you can see we've got a bunch of litter bugs, right? Almost exclusively on the ship, we have litter bugs on the ship. So, um... We're gonna build ourselves. There we go. Commander, you have just successfully built your first garbage bot. Yeah, I a did. A thing that one tries to fill with other things, but which reaches its maximum capacity much too quickly. Wait, are we talking about you and your training here? Excuse me, my routine small talk subprocessor seems to be malfunctioning. Okay. <laughs> trash talking robot. Speaking of trash, uh, she's got a lot of, a lot of, chutzpah. I, I believe is the term for it. Okay, so we've got ourselves a recycler bot, and we are a garbage bot, and we got the recyclery. So now we just got to wait to earn some money through recycling. But while we're waiting, it's worth mentioning, um, talking about, I guess, the station that we're on. You can see it's donut shaped, right? And right now, we are uh, on this layer. You can see where the cursor's at. This uh, outer layer of this part of the ring, this section of the ring. And there's three parts you can see. So there's this deck here, the sub deck. That's where we're building all of these things, like the recyclery, kind of the industrial sort of things, the stuff that you would see behind the scenes. Um, we've also got a fun deck, which we can't jump to just yet. Then we've got ourselves the bio deck. And the bio deck is where we will grow things, which will generate oxygen and other resources that we'll need for our ship and whatnot. And we'll explore those areas of the ship later on as the game progresses. But for now, in this campaign, I guess we're just going to hang out in here and wait until our 4,000 energy is uh, earned or whatever. And so it says 0 out of 4,000. And I noticed in my tutorial when I had something similar to this quest, uh, it wasn't tallying all of the energy that I was getting. You can see that I've gotten zero energy. But at the moment, I'm pretty sure that I've actually generated some energy. And I think if I go here, um, 9... 111, 910. I'm trying to figure out what this countdown is and how it's associated with the energy that we've managed to create. 
But I don't think that we've created zero. As soon as we hit 4,000, it will just fill up. Garbage bot modification, Commander, what is I this? that you still have no birth. You should definitely take care of that right away. Oh, I still need to build births and stuff, okay. ...up to the simulator for initial tests, even it realized it had to build one of these rooms. So a birth is a room that we're going to need to keep our people happy. I'm going to build a birth right here. Wait, did I just... did it build? Um, birth. Birth blueprint. Um... Uh, oh, I see. I think. Okay. So, wait, biting garbage bot. Garbage bots eat 50% of garbage, ooh, deposited in them. Um, ooh, garbage bot capacity up. There the we go. Oh. Choice, Commander. So, there are things happening, obviously, in this campaign that weren't happening in the tutorial. I can upgrade my garbage bot, I see, as we uh, go along. And it doesn't look like this thing's actually being built here. Um, let me try this birth one more time. So, um, you know what? I'm going to do the free construction because that's what we did in the tutorial. So, the free construction. There we go. There's a birth right there. So, that's going to get built. We're going to need a door for the births. So I'll put a door right down here. There we go. Slap a door in it. And we're going to put some of these pods in there. And we're going to put a slushy machine in there. And ooh, a chocolate replicator. Yes, please. Okay. There we go. Put a chocolate replicator. And a hydro clean. Satisfies the needs of hygiene. Okay, so this is basically like a... Uh, you can think of this like a robot or a uh, alien bathroom here. So we'll put an alien bathroom. I guess it won't fit there. Uh, we may need to make this bigger. That's fine. You know what? Cancel this. Let's make the birth bigger. Okay, we're going to birth it like there we go. That's a better birth right there. And we'll put a door right there. We're going to slap some of these uh, stasis things. These are basically hotel rooms. Think of them as hotel rooms. The stasis machines there. And put one of these... Slurpees there and slushy, excuse me, slurpee, that's trademarked. And then a hydro clean. We'll put the hydro clean right there. There we go. Confirm it. Now we've got ourselves a berth. Okay, so they'll be busy building up that berth for a while. And then, like I said, because there's no like fast forward and everything does happen in real time, we're just gonna have to wait and sort of check in with our aliens while uh we're waiting for that to get done. So we've got lagging Gaius there. We've got ourselves... Oh, Dusty Hyde, what's your deal? Dusty Hyde, you can actually check in with every one of your aliens and see what's happening. So Dusty Hyde's expectations here. Uh, they need to sleep. We're building some sleep chambers right now. Uh, they need some food. We built some food too. So, oh, you can see them lining up actually. Oh, look at that. Okay, I was speaking through what she was saying. Should have been paying attention, but I wasn't. And you can see these aliens. See? They're hungry. They're going to go up to these machines. They're going to get some food. All right. And they're going to go into these little sleep pods. You can see. And this is what I love about this game, to be honest, is the uh, aesthetic is so great. Look at these aliens. Everything is so detailed. Aliens going to go into the sleep pods. They're going to take themselves a little snooze. Look at it. And look at the little cute little snooze machine here. It's got a little sleepy face on it. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so... um. Yeah, I'm not sure what she told me just then. Uh, as I said, I talked over her, but there we go. I can tell you right now that she was probably talking about our air quality, which is pretty poor right now. So you know what I'm going to do is build ourselves a Commander, atmosphere filter. That 99.9% .9 of all carbon life forms require atmosphere to breathe. What did I tell you? That's Therefore, exactly what she's talking about right now. It's a good idea to set up an atmosphere filter for your visitors even if this is only a simulation. So we're going to clean up the atmosphere there. I built a atmosphere uh, scrubber basically on each side of those because that was the area that was the the most uh, at risk. You can see it's uh, sort of color coded Red being the worst, and then the sort of violet, purple, and blue being better. And you can see the air getting scrubbed in real time as we're building these. So the air is getting better there. Thank goodness. And now, what do we need now? Well, let's see what we can build here.
got fuzzy char- Oh, do I have a fuzzy charging station? Uh, I don't think I do. And we have our fuzzy bots there. And if we don't have a fuzzy charging station, then our little fuzzy bots won't be able to charge themselves. I will put the fuzzy charging station right there. You can see that they were all sort of sitting around waiting just for a charger. Okay, fuzzy charging station is built now and then we've got a commu oh communication center let's build one of those commander i would like to congratulate you on the 50th visitor to your simulated station oh well thank you if this were reality rather than a test scenario the time frame would be rather unacceptable mm, okay okay Here, however you are working within a simulation under optimal conditions so the time frame is completely unacceptable excellent work commander i see you've managed to build a communication center I mean, you created a simple construction order for your fuzzies, and then they did all the work. Sarcasm speech module not found. <laughs> Bravo. So maybe I should expand this. I mean, we've got a lot of aliens. They seem to be pretty PO'd that they have to wait so long. So let me see if I can add on to an existing blueprint. I wonder. Let me see here. Um, if I go to here let me see if i add on to uh, nope 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 try that one more time um leaky visitor what is this excuse me commander but i have a feeling there is a problem with the particular alien species in the simulation if you could take a quick look weak bladdered bug rathorians bug rathorians uh oh leaking telgor uh, oh i gotta choose which aliens Telgor, 5% chance of creating garbage every 60 seconds. This production of garbage satisfies... Okay. Ugh. An interesting choice, Commander. I would advise you to keep an eye on Telgor visitors. And maybe keep a mop ready, just in case. Those Telgor videos, visitors are going to start peeing all over the place. This is not great. Um, okay. So, can I modify existing structures? Let's see. Um, say blueprint. Edit. Yes, Commander, I can. Perfect. More than half the visitors like Startopia. At least it's a start. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so I can just... St oh, that is that is nice. And then I can just add things into it. Boom, boom, boom. And... Uh... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Um, oh, you can just pick up the whole dang thing. And rotate it. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. You guys... This is a real game changer, like literal game changer. Um, and then we can rotate these. I'm gonna put you in there, put you in there. And you know what? We got lots of food over here. We're gonna need more bathrooms Commander, because these so aliens are freaking peeing all over the place. Okay, confirm. That's gonna cost a lot of energy. So Don't care. Don't care. Your competence. So we've just built ourselves a huge... Oh, we do not have the aliens to work this. Um, and I think I need bug therians actually to work that. So let me see if I can get some bug therians. Uh, bug rathorians is actually bug rathorians. Um, let's see. I'm going to hire uh, Bucket. I'm going to hire... Ooh, this person right here. We're going to call Cud. Hire Cud and hire uh, Scanqueed. Scanqueed, come on, buddy. Uh, breathtaking atmosphere filter. What's this? Commander, I have two foolhardy downgrades to your atmosphere filters on board. Which one do you... Oh, no, downgrades. Uh, atmosphere filter, a 10% chance of producing five units of garbage. Okay, that's fine. Interesting, Commander. However, I do not want to hear any complaints about So we've got later. tons of bathrooms. we got more sleeping quarters now. And then we've got a lot more stuff to eat. So hopefully our alien visitors will be able to get in and get stuff quicker now. And let's check in with our atmosphere. Okay, so maybe one more atmosphere producer thingy over Excellent here. Work, Commander, you have acquired the required amount of energy. You did it with the berth and not the recycling station, but at least it's something. I hope you realize this, of course, does not terminate the test scenario. It was just a gentle hint designed to give you an idea of my estimation of your abilities. Oh, and this is actually telling me I don't have the proper amount of aliens for this. Wait. Why are there no aliens working on this all of a sudden? Um, uh, I need to hire more aliens. Holy moly. Okay, Telgor. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Is that one Telgor still available? Um, we hired Joe's Get. Uh, or Ghost Jet. Um, uh, Nif Nif Dag. There you are, Nif Nif Dag. Welcome aboard. Um, uh, Patera. 
and Fod Bricks come aboard. Um, Spectre Ghost. Oh, okay. There we go. We've hired some new aliens. Okay. And we've got... Yeah, there we go. So our, our friends are getting in there now. Getting their entertainment needs met, hopefully. Uh, if I look at my atmosphere now... Okay, atmosphere is starting to look better. Now that we've got three of those. I think that I need more of these atmosphere scrubber... Whoops, excuse me. Um... How do I exit out of this view? Oh. There we go. I think I need more of these the more aliens I have in my area. Uh, so what do we got here? Intergalactic Recycling Team. Oh! An intergalactic recycler unit is offering services. Financed by the Federation. The service does not cost anything, but will give us... Oh! 1,660 energy. Yeah. Do it. And then we've got the... Maldonorian Mafia Garbage Disposal. Some representatives of the Mafia have asked to be allowed to deposit some bags of garbage in Startopia. I'll receive some energy. Sure. Give me your garbage. Um, let me build another garbage bot, as a matter of fact. Um, garbage bot. Let's see. Garbage bot. Garbage bot. Garbage bot. I'll put it right here by this garbage bot here. And... Because we got plenty of garbage. And you know what? One more garbage bot over here. Um, how are we doing over here now? Okay, so it says I have two of the... Uh, people working over here. Okay, and I am recycling right now. You can see that I am recycling. Recycling progress. And that is to get 21 units of power. Okay, the next one's going to be 32 units of power. Okay, got it. And I think 83% is its current status, I guess. As far as, like, how repaired it is. Let's see, if I do a repair, let me see if it'll uh, go up. Issue your fuzzies to repair. Okay, and you can see the fuzzy there. It's doing a repair. There we go, 100%. Yep, so that's exactly what it means. And now my recycling progress is going up one more time. Okay. So now we are generating power. Oh, now I'm finally generating power. Okay. Okay. But we are fully staffed now. So now we just got to wait until we generate the required power. Uh, but as far as my aliens go, it seems like my aliens are doing better now. If I look at this guy here, um, the need for hygiene. can Okay, well, I've, I've built a bunch of bathrooms for you. So if you're having hygiene problems, man, maybe I should have built like a separate berth just for hygiene. Oh, look at they're actually getting scrubbed. You can see them getting scrubbed. Look at this. Oh, that's cool. I want to see... This guy's going to walk in and get scrubbed. Check this out. Get scrubbed. Like a little alien car wash. Oh, yeah. All right. As far as things that we can make go, let's see. Um, communication center built it. Um, oh, we can do these little things. Flooring Commander, maintenance. From the Decorative objects. Trash beasts have discovered a subatomic quantum loophole in our shield and have beamed garbage bombs on board. If what? they explode, they will cause damage and spread garbage throughout the area. But you can rest easy in the knowledge that it can't harm me. Initiate bomb sub-protocol alpha. Oh, it's a garbage bomb! Okay, I, I, I picked up the garbage bomb here. What is your deal there, buddy? Okay, I don't know what to do with this garbage bomb. Um, garbage bomb. What do I do with you? Where do you go? Let's just keep it on our hot bar for now. How about that? Um, can I open any of these berths now? So, here's these are berths. Because we're on a donut-shaped ship, you know, yes, I can. I'm going to open up this bulkhead. Check this out. Boom. Expand. And this is how we expand the ship. So, now we've got an entire new area here where we can expand. And I'm going to build ourselves... Um, I could build another... Recyclery if I wanted to. I think I'm going to. I'm going to build a back-to-back -back recyclery right here. And with that recyclery, we're going to need some more aliens to help us out. So let's go get some more Telgors. Um, I'm going to hire you, 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 and you. A Four more Telgors. station is a splendid idea, Commander. It can take care of trash, garbage, and other things that have fallen by the wayside. Unfortunately, it won't be able to recycle shattered career dreams, Commander. Oh. 
Oh, you're brutal. She's brutal. Uh, okay, and we can go ahead and do a another birth. So let's see. We're gonna do a birth here, and let's do a birth like a big old birth like that. And then we're gonna need to put a door in. Let's put the door in. You know what? Let's do a couple doors. Why the heck not, huh? I'll do a door on this side and a door on this side. Yeah, double doors. Why not? Um, we'll do some more sleeping pods here. You know what? Let's do a few sleeping Oh, I have to do... Okay, so that's good to know. Sleeping pods have to be built along the walls. Okay, so we've got sleeping pods there. And let's do some more slushies and whatnot. So I'll do... Four of the slushies there. Whoops, actually. Um, there we go. Four slushies and four of the chocolate. Um, and you know what? We'll confirm. We'll do it like that. And then I will go ahead and build a second berth, a separate berth for hygiene. But we'll wait on that because I'm looking at our power right now and the power's looking a little bit tight. Uh, let's Commander, check in here. So I've got. garbage fanatics have planted some bombs on your station. Oh, more bombs! Isn't that interesting? Okay. Um, got the bomb. Any other bombs? Oh, there's a bomb over here. Gotcha. Um, okay. I think it was just those two bombs. Now we've got three garbage bombs on us that we're just gonna hold on to for now. Um, okay. So, can I get more of my? fuzzies so i've got the fuzzy charging stations i don't think i could build just more fuzzies can i let me see here um i could build statues i could build simple lockers simple lanterns oh advertising displays you know we can start to play around with like the uh the flooring so if i were to go floor maintenance here what is this decorative object pleases your visitors okay so if i try putting them in front of the doors let me see here These were not included in the tutorial, so I'm not sure what happens when I build these. We will see. There's a lot of garbage here. Can I build garbage bots within these places? Let me see. Garbage bot. Um, I cannot. But I can build them right outside. Which maybe would be... Whoa, excuse me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Things are getting really zoomed here. There we go. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to zoom so close. Okay, so let's build a garbage bot right outside the doors. There we go. Rapid recycling station. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Um, recycling. No more atmospheric pollution. A 25% chance that no energy... No, I don't like that. Recycling station. Uh, interval 100%. Recycling station. A 25% chance of producing twice as much bad atmosphere... Um, you know what? That's fine. I don't Good care. Choice, Commander. The experimental high if I look at bad atmosphere, atmosphere on this side's pretty good. Won't cause any pretty bad within Having this no place, though. How do I get it better within the birth itself? So, let me see. Um, if I go with a atmosphere filter, let's put you right out here. Hopefully that'll make it better in there. And, oh, here's the floor thing, by the way. So that's been built. Um, I don't understand. I mean, I guess it's just a neat-looking thing is what we built. And, you know, I'm going to build an advertisement outside here. And then an advertisement outside here. There we go. Sure. Oh, floor light. Here's the floor light, y'all. So this is how we... Um, Kind of build paths and stuff. Put in some floor lights and whatnot. Up, Commander, trash fanatics have thrown bombs at the station. Oh, more trash bombs. More trash bombs. Get out of here. Where's the other trash bombs? Oh, two of them over here. Got those trash bombs. Any other trash bombs? I think that that was it. Started with one trash bomb, then two, then three. I think we're good. Recycle things. Oh, it wants me to recycle bombs. So can I actually? I can. Recycling the garbage bombs is an excellent idea. Ah! Uh, 3% of all other candidates came up with this solution. 
I suggest you try recycling a larger amount of these garbage bombs in order to There we go. Recycle the freaking bombs, y'all. There we go. And then we actually get power from doing that. Okay, fantastic. Um So I I, I wonder if we should have more recycleries because it is still going a little bit on the slow side. Uh, I'm building these little lights though. That's pretty cool. Commander, I wanted to point out to you that with your energy or prestige, you can buy very interesting things from my experimental laboratory, or oh. as my naming algorithm calls it, the Val Shop. Oh, the Val you Shop. Should definitely take a look at them. So what do we got? Um, this is a suppress negative moods. Oh, and we have so much prestige. So yeah, I will buy that. Um, and I think that we need to place these things. So let me see. Buy that. And this is a uh, speeds aliens up. Okay, sure. Why the heck not? Buy a couple of those. And oh, recycles garbage. Oh. Okay, so if I take this and put it there. Oh, will that just recycle all this garbage that's accumulated there? Oh, very cool. Very, very cool. Okay. Because there's a lot of garbage in there. And then, you know, grab a couple of these, actually. Put one there, too. Okay. Um, what is this? Oh, you can buy new fuzzies. Oh, that's how we get fuzzies. And then I can make my people happy, too. My aliens that are here. Put that there. That'll make them happy. You can see that they got these little flame icons. Uh, oh, it's because the clean air. And that was the thing. Like, how do I get clean air inside of here? Is it because it's so small? I don't understand. Oops, excuse me. Um, if I click on here and I go to edit, let's see. Edit. Commander, you have now acquired two thirds of the necessary energy. Extrapolating from your previous results, I can safely put my subprocessors on standby for the next few million cycles. Does it need more doors? Like, I'm a, I'm a little bit unclear on how to get the air clear in there because, you know, it's, uh... Here, I'm gonna try to put another door in it. And see if, uh, that has any effect. Oh, you know what? I didn't... I always forget to confirm. You have to confirm. There we go. Confirm. And what do we got here? Strange garbage. I think I missed it. Oh, crap. Garbage bombs. Garbage bomb. Garbage bomb. Any other garbage bombs? Yep. Garbage bomb. And I think that that was it. Let's recycle them. Okay, and then down here we have the motivational detonators. Ooh. Put you there. Put you there. Motivate. So this thing. Um, oh, you know what? I don't think I actually built it. Let me see. Hold on. Pick you up. Pick you up. Recycles all garbage in its area of effect. Um, okay, well, it doesn't seem to be recycling. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I hope I'm using these correctly. All right, boost moods. Do more recycling. Okay. Oh, that's how you do it. Ah, oh, unpack. Got it. Okay. There we go. Okay. I had a feeling they weren't working. So that's how that works, guys. You got to right click on it and go to unpack. There we go. All right. And look at that. We've successfully completed our tasks, you guys. Victory. That is that garbage empire. We're going to go to the next mission, but that's going to wrap it up for this episode, you guys, of Starbase. Uh, start. Wait. <laughs> Starbase Spacetopia. Uh,
But that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Space Base Startopia, you guys. Um, obviously, we could have handled that mission a little bit better, a little bit more efficiently. But you know what? This is kind of the beginning. It's through tutorial. I'm having a blast with this game, though. It's very cute. It's very fun. I'm digging it. I'm curious to find out what you guys are thinking. Let me know down in those comments below. Uh, would you like to see more? Uh, let me know what you guys are thinking. And, uh... If you guys enjoy this, let me know by giving a like, sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff. And come back next time. I'll see you guys back.